Hello and welcome back to the Sugar Honey Iced Tea Podcast, episode 13. James is addressing, his, addressing adjusting his headset right now, but we are good to go. Who wants to introduce today's uh, podcast topic? Kieran, go on then if you ask. Go on, go on, well, basically... <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, go on, my child. So basically, um, we're talking about two things today. Basically, well, actually, we've got two main topics. Okay, wait, see. can you just explain it basically, please? Basically, okay, basically, basically. No, um, uh, we've one of the things we've got to talk about is a Instagram egg that has a lot of likes. The egg, and then we have the what's it? The most eight. Philosophical, <laughs> philosophical questions that yeah. we need to answer. Go on, go on in. Do you know much about okay. this egg? So this egg randomly popped up the other day, um, and they're trying to beat the most amount of Instagram likes, which is currently I think was it Kylie Jenner or was it no Ari- the Ari- eggs Ari- won? No, no, it was when it was before. Oh, was it Ariana Grande? It was Kylie Jenner Kylie posting Jenner. a photo of her. Her baby, which had eighteen point, well, 18 basically point, like eighteen sorry. and a half million likes. So someone thought, some kid from London, decided I'm going to post a picture on Instagram of an egg, and let's see if that can overtake them as the most uh, liked thing. Which I think is a brilliant idea, um, because the top things are uh, Kylie Jenner, uh, Ronaldo. And like you know, other top top celebrities like that. So the fact that just a picture of a standard egg wins, and it's just an egg on a white background, is sick. Do you know Jesus how many likes it's got? Christ. Last time I checked, it had twenty four million. It's got twenty six point six, twenty six point zero six four million likes. Do you know what I was thinking? Jeez. Like show Josh For a photo. Egg. <laughs> just that an egg. To be fair, it's an old egg. That's a really nice. Makes egg. me fancy a fry up, actually. That is a nice. Oh, do you know what I had egg this morning? Egg related. I had a sausage and egg McMuffin, but the egg was nowhere yeah. near as nice as that egg. I hate sausage and egg McMuffin. It, it felt like egg. Really like it tasted like plasticky. Definitely was not that egg. If it was that egg, yeah, it I, I hate like those plasticky eggs. Likes. I know what you mean. It, it's pretty grim. Yeah. You know when it, it yeah, like it tastes rubbery and yeah. ugh. Does not taste like 26 That's million people can dang. like it on Instagram. Well, what While I was I'm thinking, here, you can also like the Tripe official page on Instagram. Yeah, we do have we do have Instagram, so make sure you check it out. I think it's in our description all the time, isn't it? It should be. But it should I think be. the wrong link is in the description. I've right. Got the wrong link. Pretty sure. Well, it's Tripo yeah. underscore yeah, official it's the on old Instagram. One, right. Someone's getting fired. Right. Um, We've already fired one person today. <laughs> <laughs> what I was gonna say. <laughs> I see what Hello. I was going to say Hello. is, I was thinking about this this morning, I was thinking about this egg, because I thought, oh, we're, we're shooting a podcast later, I'm going to mention it, but do you think vegans liked it? I mean, in 26 million, there will be a few, but do you think... But it came from animals still. Yeah. I'm I mean, sure they're not that... eating it or anything, and it's natural, but I reckon a few vegans went like, not liking that. I suppose... It's they not they a blade don't like of grass. things that come from animals, and it's not grass, so... Well, it's not that they just it's, don't like eating it. It's just it? an egg, because you could you could argue the vegans that chickens egg naturally. Is, yeah, see, we're, right now, sorry to interrupt you, Jimmy. We're discussing whether vegans liked it or not, but realistically, how the fuck have we got twenty six million people to like an egg? Shut up. I don't know. I like every every single big Instagram first page thing. Upload. Yeah, first thing I found out about was world record beans, which was a spin off from world record egg, um, and then I realised that wasn't the main one. Because I saw someone posting about the egg, so I went over to the egg, dropped a like on that. See, I, I don't get. Have I, you? Did if, you not hear about I, it? This, the, this podcast is the first. This just now is the first I've heard about it. I've seen like, it everywhere. You're saying all these big egg companies everywhere. have been used to promoting it. I've seen no one promote an egg. Really? How long has it been going for? Like two weeks. It's the fastest growing, and and the page has got like over a million followers. What? Just a random kid Wait, in they've London. Got a page for it as well. Well, it's just like an Instagram page. It's it's an Instagram page called World Record Egg. Um, if I can find it. Yeah, I've got up in mind. Well, if you've not gone and liked an Instagram yeah. egg already... World Record hand, Egg with like 2.7 million followers. That's insane. That's mental. And if you keep refreshing the page, it's going up over 100 likes a second. It's actually it mental. It is mental. Um, 
but yeah, beating the current world record. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so I think it it smashed it <laughs> yesterday. Wow, how, how many is it on the moment right now? Uh, twenty six million ninety five thousand. So literally ninety seven thousand. It's got thirty thousand. Ninety eight thousand. Fuck me. So. But the time I just showed you, ninety nine thousand. Now it's literally got a thirty thousand. That's no, insane. Six, no, so, 60, right, if it's on twenty six million right 000. now. 20, it's going up. Twenty six. Put start a podcast. What was it on? We're going to look at the end of the podcast and see how much it's gone up by in one. Okay, podcast. so twenty six point one. Okay, mil. so we'll check at the end and see how much it's gone up by in just the one podcast. All right. Well, also in this podcast, we're going to be talking about eight great philosophical questions that we'll never solve. Or will we? Let's find no, out no, today. I reckon we'll get all of them today. Boom, 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 boom. See, that's, if we had a jingle, that's where it would go. Yeah. What's the prize for answering the questions? Uh, you get a firm Nothing, handshake. Because we're all going to work Ooh. together to okay. solve all right. All right. solve the mysteries of the universe. Okay, I don't even know what this one means, but see if you can wrap your head around this one. Why is there something rather than nothing? What does that mean? Pass. <laughs> well, it says on the we. By the way, shout out to Gizmodo, the website. Our presence in the universe is something too bizarre for words. The mundaneness of our daily lives cause us to take our existence for granted. La di da di da. Uh, basically, why should anything exist at all? Oh, I get it. As in, like, I don't know at all. so it, it just means why are we here? Like, does oh. it? Yeah, that's what um, it means. We're here to make a pretty interesting podcast. Um, we're here to discuss the philosophy of... Sorting. Did it answer your should question? I, I, I'll go on to a better one. I think on. people can understand go on. more. Go on. Is our universe real? This is a classic question which essentially asks, how do we know that what we see around us is the real it's true. Cause deal? For all we know, right? And it's not some grand illusion. For all we know, we could be in a simulation. For all I know, I know I'm real. How do I know that you're not programmed to say that you know you're real? I've heard yeah. that before, loads. To be fair. Yeah, but how do I know that you're not double bluffing me to make it sound yeah, like? How do you're I know human? you're not triple bluffing me? Yeah, but that's that's something a robot would say. Yeah, but that's I something reckon. a robot would also say. I know say. who is it. Who is it? And real? Jamie, don't even get me on Jamie. Right, your voice just screams, I'm an android. Well, yeah. hang on a minute. Who said my voice was monotone the other day? Oh, yeah. Daisy. Well, right, Daisy. I'm a robot. Just can't help it. I know who uh, is. I know who is a robot. Marina Joyce. Oh yeah, her buddy. Uh, that was that was a fun time on YouTube, that wasn't was, it? That was Everyone fact, thinking got, uh, she was going to blow people up at a fan meet. Oh yeah, police count didn't they? Did the police count. Oh, did, did it get cancelled? Yeah, they turned up at her house and everything. Yeah. Um, so yeah, maybe we're some sort of in some simulation. What do you think about that? I, I mean, it, it's just. It's like when you go, yeah, it's not. We know it's not real. Or we know it. we know it's not a thing. But that's the kind of thing a robot would say. <sighs> Cough, man. <laughs> um, we know that it. We we know that we are real. Uh, so I don't think we are in a simulation. Mm. But the whole idea of that being a possibility is quite scary. Yeah, but that means that. There must be some sort of real for the person that built the simulation. Does that make sense? No. So if we're in a simulation, who made the simulation? Jesus. So that would be an external reality was, which was, built ours. That's mental, right? It was definitely and that, you know, yes, I was watching. Have you ever heard of um, someone called Richard Dawkins? Yeah. He's amazing. Now, I'm not trying to offend anyone who's religious or anything, but. Um, I'm I'm not religious, and Richard Dawkins is basically a great believer in science, and he's I wouldn't I'm not sure what you'd call him if not really a philosopher, but basically he 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 does a lot of open talks and debates and stuff about religion, and kind of not proves it's wrong, but definitely argues it, and um, he was he was doing these really cool debates uh, against I think it's like against the bible and uh they were saying how god was like um oh he's the the number one guy there's no one else by but god and i just thought well hang on a minute i'm just a dick um 
Who created God then? What does that you know? If it well, yeah. why is God some uh, kind of human like looking never fella? Of that. But who was God's mum and dad? Never thought of that. Because he couldn't have just puffed out of nothing. Big Bang. Yeah, but that's a scientific explanation. Oh, yeah. hang on, but didn't he make the Big Bang? No, that's a scientific explanation. Oh, I've got. Whilst we're on the topic of this sort of thing, like you can't answer these questions, I've got one that's bothered me since I was like eight years old. Go on then. So we will heal you. The Josh. universe yes. is never ending. No, they they say it has got an end. What does it look like after the end, though? What can you see after the end? Because if you see black, black, there's something there. Nah, black is nothing. I think because that absorbs no, black all black. colors, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Um, they do say there is an end of the universe. That's the end of our universe. But they, there's, I'm pretty sure, they they say something like there's loads of hours or something. But like there's got, but all of that, like all of the, there's got to be an end to it somewhere. It cannot definitely, just keep going. Definitely. But what does it look like after the end of it? They say it, you, you know, know in, infinity is like. Is that even real? The idea of something being infinite. Mm. You can't have... Nothing can not have an end. Or maybe it can. Our brains aren't like, designed to understand these yeah. things. Like, did designed? You know, <gasps> we we can't generate energy. Or programmed. We can't, we can't add more energy to the world. Yeah, everything yeah. is here. It, like, every... It's like people say, hang on, if we keep building stuff, how come the Earth isn't falling out, out of space then? It's like because of the materials. That yeah, we're every. Yeah. Oh god, this is this podcast. Yeah. This is like the, my favorite so podcast. It's, a, so it's the same thing with energy. You see, with energy, we generate it. Yeah, it's transferred, but, but we, not but, destroyed yeah, we're or created. Using energy to make more energy. Mm-hmm. So we're doing a continuous cycle. Definitely, but um, yeah. In answer to your question, Josh, I think at the end of the universe, um, is probably. Well, they, the universe is constantly expanding. Um, and I think at the end of that, must be pure... If we got to the edge of the universe, if mm. you're saying, what we'd see with our naked eye, it's no stars, Just nothing. Black. And if you think... Um, so, basically, the space... Mm-hmm. Between stars, the space between sp- uh, stars has nothing in it. Yeah. It's just... It's like air, but not no oxygen or nothing. It's yeah. it's nothingness. It's just transparent nothingness. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. So if you're just looking through transparent nothingness, there's not going to be any light in it, and then that causes the color okay. black. So right, there okay. you go. Okay. Edge of the universe, black. That's my theory. Okay. So there you go. Ed, did you have any questions? <laughs> Kept so, you awake at night? Um. No. no. It was a good. No, time. no, no. I did. He, have he one. doesn't think that much. Other than more calm, <laughs> he doesn't next. think that much. <laughs> All right. No, I say, I say he doesn't um, think about much. No, he thinks a lot. He, like you think about what car am I going to buy next? How am I going to make this one That's good, really I, loud? Yeah. How am I going to make money? How am I going to make money? But right, what's um, so what, what? What was it? It was. Uh... Oh, is it? Can dogs feel guilt? Yes, because dogs have emotion. Yeah, but there was guilt. A, there was a video what's where guilt? a dog. The only said to the dog, don't eat this food. The only left the room, the dog ate the food. And yeah, but if one... I gave you some food, so don't eat this food and left it. No, no, no. You'd probably eat it as well. Oh, I'd eat it. A bit in one tone, but the, 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 the only came and said, oh, why did you eat the food? And the dog went all sad. But then he did it in a different tone. She went, why did you eat all the food? And yeah, because they don't understand yeah. language. They just under, understand pitch and yeah. volume. No, I, you know, I genuinely think they feel guilt because mine definitely like when so they're so smart so obviously you both met my, my, my oldest dog he's a bit of a soppy bastard right Wait, when, what's his name again Maverick Maverick but when when we Maverick shout Merch. at him <laughs> just a lo- he's just one big Logan Paul fan uh, when we shout at him and when he's done like naughty he will follow us around the house his head will remain down on the floor and he will not get out of that mode like get out of like, being like that until he always goes out of his paw, try and give us his hand, like he gives his paw. That's guilt. Yeah, that is guilt right there. Like because he will not, he will not stop being miserable until we've accepted his paw, and that's his way of saying sorry. At the end of the day, like. we're not anything too special. We're animals. At the end of the yeah. day, so if we as an animal can feel guilt, yeah, why think, should I another think, animal? I think not? they can feel guilt. Anyway, what's the next question then? Oh, absolute classic. 
bit of a touchy subject. Does God exist? Probably not. But uh, that's not for me to decide. Okay. I, I have. I don't want to offend anyone. Right. I don't care what people believe as okay. long as it's not hurting anyone. So, yeah. I'll touch on this subject. See, I grew up a very scientific person. Mm-hmm. So much that I refused to do my religious ex- religious exam. Mm-hmm. Not because really? you had an exam. N- yeah, in my in my school, I refused to do my exam. I just I just napped for an exam. They said Slept. literally. I was like, I'm not gonna lie about in my exam because like lying is just like not. It doesn't. I don't yeah. see why people lie. Yeah. yeah. Um. So like, oh, just because if there's no scientific proof, then why should we? Because I haven't seen my. Mm. If it, if I haven't seen it with my own eyes, I don't believe it. Oh, you are like, okay. No, the thing okay. is, well, for all we know, the Bible could be written by some geezer who got bored. Yeah. Well, That's what I think the Bible was written by, uh, you know, scribes. Yeah. Eight hundred yeah, BC that. in mm-hmm. in yeah. a desert. Like, and that's facts. That's not I, being, me being offensive. I do believe in. I do believe Jesus was a person. Yeah, I reckon he was an think, illusionist. But I don't think like he obviously like made wine from bread, mm. and, stuff, oh, and I think just Mary just had a quick shag of someone else. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good cover up. That yeah, was God, mate. Yeah, got, God, that. God made me pregnant. I didn't cheat on you. If I am a virgin. <laughs> They are not trying Don't to cut offend. That out. <laughs> just... Oh no, I'm not. I'm not trying to offend anyone. They're not trying to opinion. offend anyone. That Fair is... enough if you're religion hmm. stuff. Joke, like, I mean, but... I, 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 I don't think. I don't know why. I, I used to believe in God. I mean, uh, I think I'm unsure. Yeah, really? Like I'm like, I don't think about it because it will annoy me. If I don't, if I, if I can't know a definite answer, that's gonna bother me. So I don't think about it. I'm ninety nine point like, nine percent sure. I would love the idea. I love the idea of it. I think it, if it, I would love it to be real. I, would, I wouldn't. But like, I'm drifting towards the whole thing. Like. Like out of all the stuff that's happening now, like if there was a god, why but are people getting murdered, exactly. raped? That's the thing. Why is there war? Like that. You say you love the idea, but I hate the idea of one fella controlling everything. That's a dictatorship. But he's right meant there. to be good, though, isn't he? Like he, he does good things to help you. That's that's the only off thing. Does like, he? It's like we've got all this like awful stuff happening in the world, and it's like. Obviously, if you're religious, like this is a, obviously a touchy subject. We get that, and we're not trying to offend yeah, anyone we're not, here. We're not but a go. it's just our personal opinion. Like, let us know yours in the comments. Like, to be, oh, I said it before, but like, I could, I wouldn't mind if anyone believed anything. Like, you can believe what you like, but as long as it's not hurting anyone or yeah. hindering anyone, then yeah. then so be it. Do what you like. But one thing I feel quite not. Not like, I don't know how I'd say it, but you know, as a child, you're brought up to believe certain things. So Mm -hmm. say you're born into a Muslim family, you'll Mm -hmm. be brought up saying that, um, what is it? Is it Muslims that follow the Quran? Yeah. Yeah, you'll say, you know, that is it. That's what you follow. Um, I'm not saying this is every household or anything, but, you know, a a vast majority, that's it. That's what you follow. Mm -hmm. This is good. This is bad. Mm -hmm. Um, And stuff like that. But... That I feel is a shame, really, because when you're being born into it, that's almost like limiting you for your life. Obviously, further down the line, it's down to you whether you're kind of, you know, gonna break off from it or whatever. But it's mm. unlikely because you've been set in that mindset from a child. Yeah. So I think it's nicer to have no religion, no ties to anything, mm-hmm. and a child can go and, you know, find out the world for themselves. I think if it wasn't for religion would be a hell of a lot more advanced. You think? Absolutely. It's like, um, it's ironic that I'm going to use this example, but the Romans, mm-hmm. they were very religious, but quite practical and not old-fashioned um, in a sense for their time period. So say they took, when they invaded Britain, they brought roads, uh, uh, viaducts, all, all sorts of things, you know, all this technology, proper housing, and then a barbaric tribe uh believe in like say voodoo stuff and all this kind of things you know the celts which is mm-hmm. what we descend from and stuff you know they fought back and pushed them out and we were set back for like hundreds of yeah. years almost um so i'm thinking that now yeah the romans were very religious but point is i in a long 
in the in the long run I feel like it is mm. hindering people. Mm. But then again, more and more people are are uh, growing up not religious. Yeah. Anyway, should we go to the next point then before this gets to uh it it deserves a podcast of its own, really. Yeah. Maybe in the future. Yeah. Oh, I was literally just thinking about this question. What is it? I knew it's going to be on there. Is there life after death? No. Uh, no. Probably. But like, there was this thing. This I say this thing. There was a, there was a TV show, right? And it was a couple of years ago. It was back when we must have been year eight or year nine. Mm-hmm. I remember watching it. And they went to this shop, and backstory to the shop was that this guy, this kid, uh, goes. So this kid goes into this store, right? Uh, and he's never been in the store before, and he points out like he's like, oh, like, like your safe is there, and this is there, and that's there, stuff that he shouldn't know. And then he goes outside, uh, and there's all these like kids playing football. And then he points out the two. Oh, so it's like he's had a sons, life yeah, before. Points out the two sons of the shop owner, and then the weirdest bit: he's got a birthmark where the shop owner was shot in a robbery. Yeah, I've heard things like this before, and this is where I I become hypocritical because where I say I don't believe in say religion, and I mm. think it's it's you know not saying I would even consider. Yeah. The spiritual side of stuff, yeah. I'm I'm more believing, but I don't know why, because it's on the same sort of level. Here's the thing. Know what I mean? So I don't know what to believe. Mm. Here's the thing, right? We don't think there's life after death, yet we still get nervous when filming at Waverley Abbey. Yeah, that's a, that's not, that's more for me the fear of like, like what's there, not yeah, because it, because it's like even in the daytime it'd be creepy because of what images have been put in your head from say mm. horror films and stuff yeah. you know in you know deep down i know there's obviously nothing I, there. whenever i whenever like we go there because like we've had to do reshoots there and all sorts whenever we have shot there i always picture in my mind you know the nun from the conjuring mm-hmm. she's what comes to mind because it's that sort of environment you'd expect to see something like that and i always think like oh bloody valik from the conjuring yeah gonna poke her out in a minute and say, and there's oh, no women at that that monastery Apart there was a woman's body found. A there. woman's body yeah. found, which they reckon. Well, I reckon my theory is it, it's, it's it that. It's the witch from witch. the cave. Yeah. The thing is, like, you, I mean, obviously, like, you guys went and see it, but after the shoot name podcast, I went and stood in the middle of a satanic circle. And I, yeah. I did that just because I don't believe in anything there. Just to prove a point. Like, yeah. that's, well, what, did, that's what I don't. Like, obviously, I get scared, like, adrenaline yeah. wise. Like, if I break my arm, if I get scared, if a health woman, I get scared. But, like, when it comes to, like, horror stuff, I don't get scared at all because I know it's all not real. Keep an eye on the channel because we've obviously just, James just gone and confirmed that we have uh, recorded a podcast inside Waverly Abbey. So keep an eye out for that because we just did find a like really weird circle drawn on the ground and there was a fire in the, like a fire, play, fire pit in the middle. Mm-hmm. Really satanic stuff there we found. But keep an eye on the channel for that because that is coming. And as you can see, well, if you zoom in, you can actually see little horns growing out of his head now um, since stepping in that. So, coincidence? See, oh, I don't know. Anyway. See, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get real deep here quickly. Yep. See, I know because of Mark, because of like science stuff. That's what he said. <laughs> I know that there is, I, I don't think there's any life or death. So, I literally take like, I do whatever I can like every day mm. just to like, obviously, you know. Mm-hmm. That's my f- thought. That's why I, I, I don't think about, I don't necessarily like to think about the future too far ahead. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because when I start thinking about it, I just think death is coming. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's what I mean. No, Jerry. Death is so coming. That's why I, I literally, like, as I, as I tumble, it's like live in the moment. That's because, like, so when yeah, the song's I like, agree. oh, do you want to come and take first? I'm like, of course, like, death is coming. Yeah. <laughs> well, so that's it goes to back to your point nothing's destroyed or created. So, in one sense, there is life after death because the matter that we're made out of will dissolve into the ground and become grass or trees or bushes or plants or whatever. Um, so in that sense, our kind of, not ourselves, we'll but our people. atoms will become mm. tree folk. Tree folk. And, and what not. So what See we're trying that? to tell you is that that uh, tree in your back garden is actually a dead person. Yeah. In a sense. Probably is. Yeah. No, but the thing is, like, obviously, 
the one religion that is like linked to my family most, except from Christianity, is because like my great granddad is Indian. Indian is Hindu. Hindu believes in reincarnation when you reincarnate into another object or form. That's my favorite. That's the closest thing I can believe to. Yeah. If I had to choose to believe, I'd definitely be reincarnated. Do you believe in um, then the idea of a soul? Yeah, I believe in a soul. Yeah. I I guess so. I think so. I mean, it's weird how the brain works, and I don't care like to understand it because I don't think I will understand it. Mm. So swiftly moving on. See, yeah. So <laughs> Colin, we got uh, time for one more. So you want to give All us right, one more? Um, I don't want to do that one. I don't want to do that one. North Sea viewers, uh, oh, any any of one. the questions that are asked today, if you've got I'm your different opinion to us, one. let us know in the comments. All right. I'm going to scroll through and you can tell me when to stop. Ready? Go. Stop. <laughs> Is mind or matter more real? Don't care about that. No, uh, no. How does gravity work? Don't care. I know how that works. Don't care. Of course, scientific explanation. How does it give work? Us, give us a good one to end on, Kieran. Um, these ones aren't great. I had to go on a different website because the other ones um, uh, weren't weren't great. There's uh, you can choose one. What is time? Where do thoughts come from? Is there a reason to life? What's education? Is there a supreme power? Supreme um, leader. One like, it's like what's the voice in our head? That's just you. Is one person's terrorist you got a voice in your head, Jamie? another huh? person's freedom? No, fighter. when you're thinking, you speak to yourself. That, sorry, to yeah, okay, fair enough. That is a good one, but is that good? Is that? Can we talk about that? What is it? What? What is, I just is said. A we won't. We won't. No, we'll like talk about that. We'll do that maybe some other time. Yeah. Um. Okay. If money cannot buy happiness, can you ever be truly happy with no money? Well, I'd rather. Yes. Oh. Yes, you can. You, uh, <laughs> I thought it was going to be like one of those, like, um, oh, yeah. money can't buy happiness, but I'd rather cry in a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's the answer right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then oh, if boys. you're upset when you've got a car like that, is there point, any point see, of having it? See, the thing I see is, like, the reason why they say, can you be happy when you're poor, is because we grew up in a world where the rich seem higher, mm -hmm. and, like, Obviously, we're told, you know, I think get a house, have kids, have a successful family. So you think about that, that makes us more depressed money, than for not being happy. Money is only part of, uh, part of happiness. If you had loads of family and no money, you're probably going to be happy about your family. If you have yeah. no family and loads of money, you're going to be happy about, you know, opposite way around. Like, I think... Man, I think like happiness, you can't happiness can't be decided by an amount of one thing. It's the amount of how much of everything needed to be happy you've got. If you've yeah. got, if you've got like little money, but you've got, you know, you're healthy. You've got a lot of family. You know, like yeah, like you can be happy. You've got a money issue to worry about, but you can be happy if you've got no money. Or oh, sorry, loads of money. You're healthy, but no family, and you're lonely. Like that. I agree. Do you know what so, I mean? It, I think it, what it comes down to is. This, yeah. I, Sorry for interrupting you, but anyway, I will say this. There's three things I want in life. Mm -hmm. Obviously, like, health, because I want to obviously be healthy. Like, um, happiness and what's the other one? And like, God. <laughs> health, happiness, and family. So health is, like, you know, keeping healthy. Happiness is, like, for... So like, for like, things that make me happy is, like, my hobbies. And obviously, like, love is family. So if you have, like, apparently, if you have, like, like three elements, then you should live a good life, they say. Mm -hmm. Which I believe, because, like, happiness can be caused by hobbies. So thank you very much for watching today's podcast. Obviously, if anything that was discussed in this podcast offended you, there was... Uh, then grow up. <laughs> no, you can't say can't that. Can't say Kieran. Kieran. It's fine. We did not... Right, any offence caused, if any, was not intentional. So please don't hate us because... Put a Samaritan's hotline down in the description it's below. No. It's not working. Like Basically, that. I hope you enjoyed. Yep. It's not I that tried. Deep. <laughs> yeah right so thank you for watching today's podcast uh please like please subscribe yeah all that stuff uh and we'll see you in the next one